Hey everyone, it's Takara with FB Ad Strategist, simplifying Facebook ads one question at a time. And today's question is about Facebook's relevance score. What is it and what does it mean and how can I improve it? So a relevant score from Facebook is really this metric they give you on the ad level. So you can see if you go into your ads manager and go to the ad level, you're going to see a relevant score for your ad. And it's on a scale of 1 to 10. And Facebook uh, calculates this number by how relevant your ad seemingly is to your target audience. So if you have a low relevant score, that means Facebook is saying your ad isn't very relevant. There's something going on that's not right. So that would be the numbers of one to five. Um, if you have a high relevant score, that means Facebook is seeing a lot of likes, comments, shares, um, engagement with your ad, and it is going to cost you less to get in front of your audience because it is a relevant ad. So you want your relevancy score to be high. Now, if you have an ad, for me, it's got to be eight, nine, or 10 every time for me to really think the ad is a good one. If it's under that, then I know that's Facebook telling me there's something going on, there's something wrong here, and I need to look at the ad and dig further. So this is why looking at your data and your metrics is so very important. Now it'll only show you a relevancy score after 500 impressions have happened with your ad, so you do need to give it some time to calculate this relevance score for you. That's why we always suggest just let your ad sit for 48 to 72 hours don't touch it. Just let Facebook, blah, 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 <laughs> Facebook's algorithm do its thing to get you your uh, score for you and all the other data that you need in order to make important decisions to uh, kind of keep going into your ads and strategize and optimize from there. So how do we improve our relevant score? Well, the first thing I invite you to do is look at your targeting. And that's on the ad set level. Now, maybe your ad is just not speaking to the right target market or the image isn't lining up with your target market, the copy isn't lining up. So there, there's those things all come together. So number one, look at your targeting. Let's say you're selling, um, I don't know, a recipe book, right? And you're simply targeting women between the ages of 18 and 65 who live in the U.S. Well, that's way too broad. We want to narrow that net down a little bit. And it's okay to start with a broad net and then slowly narrow or get it smaller and smaller, but just make sure, sure your targeting makes sense, right? And that's where custom audiences can help you out or your saved audience or split testing audiences. But make sure that your ad is speaking directly to the person you're trying to sell your product to. That's the beauty in creating an avatar and really understanding your customers, what they're into, looking into your audience insights, who are they following, what pages do they like, what products are they purchasing, and then you can speak directly to that person. That's gonna be a more relevant ad to them. And then my second suggestion is to look at the ad copy, the ad image, the ad headline, and make sure that it's good. <laughs> so um, if you don't work with a copywriter, that might be a consideration. I mean, not everyone's blessed with copywriting skills. I certainly am not. Sometimes I nail it and sometimes I totally blow it. So if, if you want to to look into getting a higher relevancy score because you feel like that's a place where you're not blessed with the skill set of copywriting, um, I, I invite you to do that and, and look for a copywriter for ads. Um, the other thing is make sure your image is relevant. So if you're talking about recipe books, like we're talking about, make sure you have an image of someone cooking or a recipe or anything that's relevant. Don't have a picture that just doesn't make sense there. Um, and also make sure once, if Facebook sees that someone's clicking on your ad and then quickly leaving your website, then they're gonna think that that's, again, an irrelevant ad. So make sure that your landing page, wherever that person will go to when they click on your ad, is congruent with the ad image. So the colors should be the same, the message should be the same, the images should be the same. So I would invite you to split test images, 
headlines, ad copy, and perhaps even the offer and see if you can increase that relevancy score because having a high relevancy score means you pay less money to get in front of your customers. So there you have it. That is what a Facebook relevance score is and how you can work to improve yours. I hope this is helpful for you. If it was, then please go ahead and follow me. I'm on Instagram, FB Ad Strategist. I'm also on Facebook at facebook.com forward ad forward slash your ad strategist. You can find me on YouTube, my website, fbadstrategist.com forward slash tutorials to learn more with me. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, Q&A at fbadstrategist.com. I'll touch bases with you next time. Bye.